Hey everybody, welcome back to the Midwest Melders channel. Hope everybody's doing great. Still got some electric motors to tear apart. Where are we at? Over here, punch the copper out. Not doing that today, but we're doing something similar. This might be a two-part video. I don't know. We'll see. See how long it gets. However much I want to cut out, but we'll see. So let's flip around and see what we're doing. So we're going to bust this guy apart. If it's copper, we're going to check it. But anyway, it's 411.6 pounds or 186.7 kilos. So uh, I didn't know if my scale was going to go high enough, but uh, 14 more kilos and it wouldn't have. Well, 13.3. So, uh, all right, I'm going to get it off the scale with the engine hoist here, and uh, we'll get started. All right, guys, let's get started. Start by taking the fan shroud off. Oh, God, there wasn't one on the bottom. That might have been a pain. All right, next thing is get the fan on. This one appears to be on. Looks like the grease nipple's got to come out and we'll get in there. It looks like three quarters. Take it out with a pair of vice grips. 
That is not a three quarter. What is, what is that? I have five eighths. There's the winner, 11 16th. So, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I don't know when you'll be seeing this video. Today is Tuesday, the 25th of April. screws in here for the grease for, for the bearing. I'm surprised, surprised that broke free. <laughs> See that guys? Just a straight head screwdriver. I won't get so lucky on this one, but you never know. Oh, broke crack free. That's crazy. All right, we get a hammer and some punches or some chisels and we'll start uh, taking her apart. I don't know how many we need, so I'll throw up a few. We'll start right here. Looks like it's going to pop right apart, guys. some of the varnish off of here and make sure this is going to be uh, aluminum before we go through all the trouble of taking it apart. I'm going to move you guys around to the other side. All right, so I got you moved around here. I got my grinder. Now we're just going to buff right here just a little bit. And we're going to see what this is because these wag motors are notorious from what I've seen of being aluminum wound, even big ones like this. Okay. All right, guys, we hit a home run here. That's this is a copper wound motor. So uh, let's work on getting this other side busted out. We'll get the armature pulled out of the stator, and uh, we'll just keep working on it. Grease nipples at the way there. Okay, you guys are seeing kind of what I'm doing. I'm gonna move you guys back around the other side. All right, guys, we're gonna get this grease nipple pulled out in this last bolt, and then we'll get this end knocked off of her. If you're hearing a little background noise, that's uh, that's my two daughters outside playing. So.
we'll just have to bear with that. I'm definitely not going to tell them to go in the house. Kids these days, they, they need more outside time. So if they'll do it on their own, that's great. That one's pretty tight. And I broke it. That's okay. I'll get a wrench. It'll come right off. Alright guys, I couldn't get the greaser out, but I broke it off low enough I can get the socket on there. So that's all the bolts. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to take it and I'm going to hit the shaft out this way and this should just pop right off. Alright guys, we're just going to hit it on this end and drive the cap right out. Guys, that's heavy. That's heavy, heavy. All right. Now. You see these here. That's a bearing retainer, so I gotta get them out, and then I can knock that cap off. Probably would be easier to do before I took it out of there, but I didn't see them in there. It'll be tighter than tight this end, I guess. Let me get a better screwdriver. All right, guys, as you know, I really like Harbor Freight tools. Not because they're necessarily awesome. They're decent tools, it's just they're cheap, and the screwdriver's probably gonna work really well. It's got takes a 15 millimeter, put it around the end, all the torque in the world. What you probably do is probably end up breaking that if it don't slip out of there, but we'll see. <laughs> Broke it right free. Easy peasy. I know I made a video in a couple weeks, guys, and I know I was trying to do better about getting them out a little faster, but life happens, I guess. We've just been busy catching up around here and been pretty busy at work. So my video has been kind of falling behind. This side here, tight, tight. And apparently this cap doesn't go all the way through there because I can turn that with this wrench and this end don't budge. So that's a little disappointing. So we're gonna use vice grips. Shh, don't tell nobody. I'm gonna tear this handle up probably. Nope, that one's not gonna come out like the other one did, so. We'll have to come up with a, a plan for that. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Let me see if I can't get a cutoff wheel in there. Nope. That wouldn't be very good there either. Okay, so what do we do?
All right, guys, I'm going to try something off camera here. I'm just going to stand it up on end and then beat the crap out of this with a hammer and see what happens. All right, guys, we got her out of there. So what I did was is I basically took my grinder. Let me get a bolt and I'll show you. And I just started it across here, cut me three or four cuts, and then I smacked the back of it. It just popped the head right off. So, so we got that out of there. I don't know if I'm sure or not, this thing's heavy. So, put these off the side. That's prepared steel. And then everything else has been prepared steel. So then the, the rest of it, when we get the case cut off, which is what we're going to do next, we're going to get the case cut, cut part, ugh, cut in half. And we're going to get the stator out of there. And the rest of that will be prepared steel. So... I'm going to go change my grinder wheel and we'll get started. All right, guys, I switched her, switched my blade out. I'm going to try this uh, six inch Linux cut off wheel on this. It seems to be a real soft steel, probably like a cast steel. So uh, we'll see how it does. Hey, I got to plug the grinder in. That might help. I always unplug it when I change the wheel. Just forgot to plug it back in. So. All right, we got the juice. If you're listening with ear, earbuds or headphones on, you might want to turn the volume down. This gets pretty noisy.
actually cuts pretty good. I'm real, I'm surprised. I'll probably use that from now on on these. I didn't cut it all the way through. My hope is it just popped and uh, it'll crack all the way through. Yep, right there. There she went. Now I gotta turn the old girl over and cut the back side. Sure, took the eye bolt out of it. Still might. I'm still. I'm probably going to. It'll sit better. Okay. Make sure it's still in frame. Yep, we're good. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this up. Let's see if we got through enough there to pop it. I think we did, but you never know. There she is. Cut that again.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it again. It cut easy enough. I'm, it won't take too long. She'll come off this time, I'm pretty sure. Alright guys, I don't know if you can tell the actual scale of this on camera. But, I mean, there's my hand. And I don't have... The smallest hands in the world, I can tell you that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, guys, I've pretty much done this video in real time. I've only uh, paused maybe once, twice to get a tool or something, but you pretty much seen it in real time. So, it took me 28 minutes to get where we're at now. Or well, that's where we're at on the video. It probably took me like 26. 27 maybe because I've been sitting here blabbering but uh, let me turn it around and we'll see the parts and pieces we got right now so that's probably 100 pounds and then the case is probably I don't know 100 pounds that might be a little more than 100 we might wait on the next video tonight we're not going to see how much copper is in this motor but I did show you how to get here but that's 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 next so the cap's going to go into the giveaway bucket still over there so i'm gonna flip you around the face and uh guys we're getting so close to that thousand subscriber mark we're at 810 as i'm making this video and i want to thank everybody for that we're getting real close real close so uh guys i think that's where we're going to end the video today and uh, if you would please it don't cost you nothing if you're watching this video, just please hit that like button. It helps push it out there and maybe uh, get this video out to maybe some new people that haven't seen the channel before. And maybe they'll watch the video and maybe they'll learn something and maybe they'll subscribe and we'll just keep on growing. And uh, so guys, let's uh, let's do something else too. Let's let's take and see. Leave me leave me in the comments. How much copper do you think is in this motor? I got a pretty good idea of what's in it, but I'm not going to tell you guys. We'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. And uh, yeah, if you like tonight's video, guys, like I said, please hit that like button. 
hit the subscribe if I've earned it and you're not subscribed already. Hit the bell so you know whenever we're getting new videos and we'll catch you on the next one.